Yeah, really looking forward to uh, talk to you about Frontify and really happy to be here. Um, not quite often been the case in the last few years, concentrated on running the company, <laughs> which is always uh, taking quite some attention. So Frontify, where brands live, I want to give you a little bit of an introduction in what this is all about. So maybe this is really something that uh, all of you know. So we know when you go to Starbucks, probably a coffee is more expensive than maybe the equally good coffee or even better coffee next door. Um, but for some reason, we feel more like teased to have that experience that Starbucks offers us. And what this is all about is, is brand, essentially. And that's the field where we play in. We help brands to hold up their brand equity or build it out and make sure it doesn't get diluted over time because it's not easy in today's world to keep up with the growing number of touch points that there are. So if you look at large companies, there's so many touch points out there. How do you ensure really that the person in the store, the person doing some digital marketing or the person handling support requests is actually on brand? And what we realized is that actually it's not so much about the few people who manage the brand, so the CMOs, the marketing leaders, and all the people who make the beautiful guides and you know, like have this shiny idea of what the brand really stands for, but then essentially you fail bringing, it, bringing that to the people who every day live and breathe the brand. So if you go into a Tesla store and the people do not understand what the purpose is of Tesla, and you don't feel that connection to the brand, you kind of get like a little bit confused, and that's slowly, slowly diluting the power of the brand. So to really fix that, we need to concentrate more on the everyone. So all the people within an organization, how can they get a good understanding of the brands? How can they get access to all the material that they need to be on brand? And that's exactly where we come into play with our vision, where everyone is part of building beloved brands. And it started by having this customer conversation back in the days. Founded the company 2013, background as a software engineer and a designer. And in this specific meeting with TUI, they asked us, hey, can you just like in this nice little product we had back in the days, can we put in hundreds and thousands of pages of PDFs, you know, uh, where our brand is documented in your system? And we were not capable of doing it, but we thought like, maybe that's a good idea, let's try this. So we built a product uh, that was essentially allowing them to put all these PDFs into something we call a brand portal, something that is easily accessible, interactive, and allows you for modern media as well. So then we got like pretty significant success with that and found like our product market fit back in 2015, I would say. And customers started to ask us, why can't we just manage our assets also in there? You know, why can't we just put images in there and all that stuff? So we built that, and then all of a sudden we realized, oh, we just built a digital asset management system, so, which became actually a really powerful, state-of-the-art enterprise digital asset management system, which some of you may better know from a space that is a bit more established than brand management as something more new. So with this, we really gained significant traction. And as you can see here in this example, that's Uber. So if you go to brand.uber.com, you will land at Frontify's platform. So Uber manages their brand fully with Frontify. So that means like all their employees, all their partners use the platform to get access to guidelines, to understand what the brand stands for, to get access to images, like everything that you see in like Uber Eats and stuff, all this imagery is hosted in our platform. So we have tens of thousands of people accessing this platform monthly. It's an immense amount just with one company. So it's not something that is purely focused on the marketing team, but actually wall to wall. That goes further and allows you to integrate things like templates, so really streamlines the creation of assets and makes it very easy for every single person, not only the designers or the experts to create the asset, but really simplifies the mass production of assets on brand. And here's a list of customers that I think speaks for themselves. It's around 1,000 nowadays. And it really covers like all kinds of industries, all sizes. But we see huge success in especially the more complex cases. So if you see like a huge brand, globally active, 
lots of employees, lots of touch points, lots of specifics in different markets. So that's the ideal scenario that we see. Also, we realized in the last few years that our biggest level that we have as a company is actually partners. So we built up 170 partners over the last two years, which amplify our commercial efforts. And it really is our, basically our biggest thing for the future, I believe, where you have rebrands that happen and agencies and brand studios and consultancies are really at that intersection point where companies decide to go into a rebrand and trigger that transformation. And if we are there and work together with them, we're in the pole position uh, to get them on board. Here's a few numbers which we normally don't share, but I felt like, you know, financial folks like numbers, so let's have a look. Um, so right now we're at 48 million in ARR. Um, we see huge growth, um, and we didn't see any like slowdown depending on any crisis, which I think is significant because crisis is something that makes people think about the long-term impact. Sure, it's also short-term, you need to fix things, but it's about someone like Airbnb deciding, oh, actually, we have a strong brand, we can just launch another product, which we can use in that intermediate time and then go back to where our brand really shines. But this is brand. It's really that long-term impact that you build up. And we help companies to save that most valuable asset that they have. And here's a few more metrics. Um, just early in the year, we closed our biggest deal uh, with 1.3 million, which shows also the scale. Like we go from very small companies, which pay like 50K, 15K, sorry, per year up to uh, such an amount, which gives us a huge kind of variety of customers across the board. And here's a number of um, partners we have uh, who are supporting us and we're really proud for uh, in our journey. And these are good people, you know, like that's actually what we look for in, in our investors. Not only bring, do they bring skills and, and, and access, but also we want to have them around us. And that's really what we're really happy about. We're super happy with our choices and they helped us go to the point where we are right now. Last one before I show a little video. Um, this is our funding journey. We raised to date 81 million, whereas um, not everything is primary, but we have spent around 40, so we're in a good position to go into the next years. And yeah, we, we think we're in a very good position for the future. Um, we feel why we don't, we're not really reliant on any external financing right now, but we think that's just a long and exciting journey uh, in front of us, especially because if you look at geographically, at the moment we still do about a bit more than revenue in the US than in Switzerland, but just a bit. So the market for such a thing is huge and is really out of question. Let's have a look at the quick video. And I, it, has, it doesn't have sound, so I just comment it a little bit, uh, where we see um, we really developed our brand, and brand is at the heart and center of what we do. So it's about letting our customers shine by giving them the stage. In this case, it's a Uber case study um, where they show actually why they've been successful, and they're really thankful for the support of Frontify along the way. We also see in the video um, our own conference, which is called Paradigms, that we set up last year, which is, I think, another maturity step for a company to build the brand further in more touch points and really represent our culture, which is truly unique, and try to build something that goes beyond an amazing product. It's way more. It's like people want to be part of that journey. Even our customers, they, they, they want to work with us because they like to work with the people and not only having like the most amazing product in the market, but also have an amazing relationship where we put absolute emphasis on. So there's a lot more to discover. Hive is our, our all here week event where everyone comes to Switzerland. At the moment, we have 320 people across three offices, one in St. Gallen, which is like, you know, startup monopoly, obviously, uh, next to Zurich, um, then one in New York and one in London. And we have a very distributed workforce where we're really proud of um, and looking forward to build further. There's only 10 seconds left. But yeah, was happy to share that with you. And if you have any questions, let me know and focus on building your brand. 
Thank you.